Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today's learning goal is to order three digit numbers. Well, let's take a look. I'm gonna write down some three digit numbers and I would like for you to say them with me. 279, 127, 160, 95, 205. We are going to be putting these in an order. We are going to be putting them from least or the smallest to the greatest number or the largest. So we need to find the least or the smallest of these numbers. If we put them here in our graph in a column, I think that's going to help us find our smallest number. Let's look in the yellow column or the 100s place. We're looking for the least or the smallest number. Hmm, would it be one that has two groups of 100 or one group of 100 or no groups of 100? Hmm, let's take a look. 95 doesn't even have a group of 100. That means it is the smallest or the least. We're going to move the number 95 and put it right here at the beginning of our line because that shows that it's the least. Now I'm going to cross 95 off of our list because we've already used that one. All right, let's start by looking at the hundreds column again or the hundreds place. Hmm, we have two numbers that start with 200 and two numbers that start with 100. 127 and 160. Both of these numbers have one group of 100. That's the same. So in order to know which one's smaller, we need to move over to the green column or the tens place. In 127, there are two groups of 10. In 160, there are six groups of 10. Which one's smaller? Two groups of 10 or six groups of 10? That's right, it's two groups of 10. So 127 is the smallest or the least. We're gonna move 127 right down to our lineup. And then I'm gonna cross it right off our list. So we know we've already used that one. Well, we only have one more number that has one group of 100. It's 160. So that one must come next. We'll put that in our lineup and cross 160 off. We only have two numbers left, 275 and 205. Well, if we look in our yellow column, the hundreds place, they both have two groups of 100 and that's the same. So in order to know which one is the smallest between the two of these, we look at the tens place, the green column. How many groups of 10 does 279 have? Yep, 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 it's seven. What about 205? How many groups of 10 does that have? Zero. Huh. Well, that's smaller than seven, isn't it? So our next smallest number is 205. We're gonna take that off our list and put it right down in our lineup and then cross that number off. Well, this is easy. Which one is the greatest number or the largest? It's the only one left, 279. I'm gonna take that and put that right in our lineup. Well done. We've now ordered all of these numbers from least to the greatest. When you're ordering, three digit numbers, make sure you look in the hundreds place first, and then the tens place, and finally the ones place if you need to. Oh class, thank you so much for learning with me. You did an amazing job. I hope that you have fun learning and playing with math today. Bye-bye.